This is one of the many roundabouts in the Wolverhampton area, which frequently comes up on driving tests. It's not terribly busy, but it's an example of how it's important to give your exit signal at the correct time. Leaving your signal too late can mislead other drivers wishing to join the roundabout just as you're about to move over to the left lane, and this might inadvertently invite them to get in your way. In this video, we'll look at how to time the signal correctly. We'll also look at what could happen if you give a late signal. Of course, we won't deliberately cause any danger to other road users, but we can certainly talk about what could happen. The instruction is right third exit, joining the A463 towards Dudley. Let's switch to the in-car audio to show first of all the correct signal timing, then we'll repeat it to discuss the implications of a late signal. We'll soon be approaching a roundabout where we will need to turn right third exit. On this roundabout, signal timing is extremely important um, because if we give a late signal, it will mislead other people trying to join the roundabout further round um, and it might end up meaning that we end up going the wrong way, it may inconvenience us. Um, and obviously a misleading signal is potentially a driving test fail. So right third exit, let's approach in the right lane. We're looking for A463. So if we're taking third exit, we need to signal left as soon as we've passed exit number two. Let's count the exits as we go. So right signal on approach. Exit one is here, it's just out of view of the camera. The red van is taking exit two, so exit signal for left now. And we need to move all the way over to the left for A463. And build some speed up on the acceleration lane. There isn't a merge at the top of this, it looks like there is, but there's no sign to tell us there is. So this actually becomes the left lane. There are several ways to help this channel. Like this video, so that it gets shown to other people. Share it with your friends on social media to make sure that they see it. And most of all, subscribe to the channel to show your ongoing support and help me keep creating new content. So we'll approach the same roundabout, um, but we'll talk about what could happen if we didn't put the left signal on as soon as we passed the second exit. Um, what would happen if we left the right indicator ticking away. Of course we won't cause any deliberate danger, um, but we'll use it as an opportunity to talk about who might be confused who might try and join the roundabout because of our right signal. So right signal on approach. signal ticking away this lorry on the left may try and join the roundabout because we're giving the impression that we're doing this we're going all the way around it it was giving the impression that we weren't intending to come off at exit 3 for the A463 it was giving the impression that we were continuing around the roundabout 